Hello and welcome to Mrs B's Pub Tips. I'm Mrs B and this is my deck confession. It's my first vlog so excuse me if I'm a little nervous or my voice breaks. So um, the figures you're about to see are all based on January's, end of January's figures. I've spent the last couple of months coming to terms with our figures and um, trying to work out how we are going to fix the issue. Um, this vlog is to help me stay accountable. It's to um, help keep track of where I am and, and remind me of what my initial goals were when we set out and when I started this. So, a bit about us. Uh, we are a family of six. We have three children still living at home, so effectively a family of five that we're funding. Um, I work part-time. Mr B works full-time. We are middling income earners. Neither of us earn particularly great money, um, but we're not the hardest up. Um, we have credit cards, and I tend to use buy now pay laters quite a bit that's my downfall um, I'm responsible for <coughs> excuse my voice I'm ex responsible for household items so the new, new cooker new fridge them sort of things need replacing then that's what I pay for children's clothes my husband he takes care of all our main bills um, we're renting so we have rent to pay um, obviously with the council tax going up this year, the rents are going up this year, gas and electric has gone up extraordinarily already. We really did sit down and look at these figures and think now is the time we need to get this sorted. We, we've left it too long as it is to be perfectly honest but it is what it is. So these figures are for the end of January. We have we have made oh, we have made some progress already um, with our debt and it's just been really since January we've just spent the time trying to figure out what works and what doesn't for us and coming to term with a few things that we might have to give up so this is my debt tracker it's in my planner which is just a just a buy um, expenses tracker and things so I'm just going to name this January debt and we'll take it from here so we have we will start with <clears throat> what will we start with we'll start with the lowest and that would be one of my debts, and that is, I'll put it in date, so it's HSBC. This is a loan that's called a flexi loan, and they don't even do them anymore. I took it when I was 18, and I pay it back, and I use it, and I pay it back, and I use it as of when I need it. The balance on that as of the end of January was £114. The next would be uh one second yeah the next would be my sofa payments sofa payments is a zero percent interest so i'm not too worried about this that at the end of january was 769 our next lowest is next. Obviously, I put a lot of our clothes, a lot of our children's clothes on next. And that has a balance of 992. I know, how did I get to that? Ridiculous. Um, after that... We have 
pay pal and pay pal is sitting or was sitting the end of january at one thousand and sixty two Our next was Argos, I believe, yeah, Argos. And these are my buy now, buy now, pay laters. That's sitting at 1,149. This isn't necessarily the order that I will pay them off in. It's just a sort of low to high of debt and I'll explain how we're planning to pay them off afterwards. Um, after this one, we have Berry. Again, more buy now, pay laters. They are 0% interest as long as you pay them off before their due dates. And none of these have reached their due dates. None of them have defaulted as of yet. So I can still, if I work hard, I can still get these paid before they're due and before we start incurring interest. <clears throat> Obviously, PayPal's already, and Next is already getting interest and my loan. After very, these are all mine, by the way. After very, we have our car repayments and the balance of that one at the end of January was 7,016. Then we have our credit cards. So credit card one, we'll call it, has a balance of 8,902. Credit card two, has a balance of 11,504 and credit card three has a balance of 15,438. <clears throat> now, as you can see, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money and actually totaling it up it came to a total of £49,062. We are currently only making the minimum payment on our credit cards and I have got some savings to pay off my very own Argos and obviously I've let Next PayPal build up far too much. So this one is 0%. Argos is 0% as long as it's paid off before the buy now pay later finish. This one is 0% as long as it's paid off before the buy now pay later. I believe my PayPal was around, I want to say, 21%. So for 0%, Next is at 23.9, I believe, and just about to go up. So I want to get this one clear as quickly as possible. Um, yeah, so we've got a lot to work to do, a lot of work to do. This sum here is more than we bring in in income in a year. So that's quite a hard bullet to swallow. I knew we had credit cards i wasn't aware of their balances until january and that was when i took a look at them and thought actually no we can't we cannot keep living like this we can't keep most of our about 50 percent of our income at the moment is going on paying off debt which i don't like and I'll be honest, some of this was necessary spending, some of it wouldn't have been necessary spending, some of this, like, some of this was irresponsible, I freely admit that. 
just living beyond our means for a lot of it but other times some of it is we haven't been able to meet a rent payment so we put the rent on there and it soon accumulates once you're paying off a minimum payment and once your minimum payment gets so high it then becomes difficult to manage the debt and not put more things on credit because you don't have the cash to pay for them but it is what it is and that's it i have a way that we are going to clear this i have sacrifices i am going to make you can probably tell by the step of my fingers i am a smoker so that's one thing i will need um to give up and that's one of the things i want to be kept accountable for with this channel I've made some changes to our food shopping and to how we budget our money and use our money. Um, and I will explain that in the next video. Um, and I will also go through my sort of grocery shopping list, my food shopping list, where I shop, how I shop. Um, and hopefully, maybe this will help somebody else either get out of this situation that we're in or not get into it in the first place. My aim for this year, I'll, I'll talk more about in my next video, but my aim for this year is to clear around £5,000 worth of my debt and possibly £1,000 of my husband's credit cards. It seems like small fry compared to this figure. It really does seem like small fry compared to that. But we'll see how we go. Wish me luck. And please, if you could subscribe, support us. Um, I'd appreciate any comments from people that have also been in this position. Um, I've just drawn on myself. If you had anybody else that's also been in this position, I'd appreciate it if you can give me some reassurance that this this is dealable, this is possible to deal with. I believe it is, and I want to believe it is, but that figure is bewildering. I have to admit that figure is rather bewildering. Okay, well, like I say, thank you very much. Thank you if you take the time to comment. Thank you if you take the time to subscribe. Sorry about the waffling on. I am nervous and I'm not, I don't like the sound of my own voice. So that gives you a little bit of an explanation why maybe I'm, I'm nervous. Wish me luck, thank you people. Thank you very much. Bye.